News on the March. Now it can be told, after years of rumor and innuendo, Macy's West Coast advertising announced to a shock world, yes, it's true, we do it in-house and more. For years, this door and what was behind it was a mystery to many. Few people knew its true identity. Those who knew were sworn to its secrecy. Rumors flew abound. Was it a safe house for sales associates escaping angry mobs? Or a sweatshop? Or a secret cloning lab? What was behind this door that affected much so much of the West Coast advertising machine? Who were these people and what did they do? Now it can be told. 1989, the party's over. As markets crash and interest rates shot up, money hemorrhaged out of Macy's and bankruptcy loomed. Those who feared change now feared for their livelihoods. Something had to be done to revert this desperate trend. After four winters of discontent, changes had to be made before this once venerable institution became just another $10 tourist t-shirt emporium. Finally, in January 1994, Top Brass made the decision to invest $4 million, bringing Macy's into the computer age. There were poo-pooers and naysayers, but for those willing to fill big shoes, big steps were easy. In early 1994, the check was cut to buy the computers. The search began to hire only the best and brightest minds. No stone was left unturned, no lead not followed. As soon as the new volunteers had signed on, a vigorous training period began. Many are called, but few are chosen. Those who survived were ready to tackle the daddy of them all, Tiny. Tiny, the jewel in the crown, a server to serve the servers, cost one million dollars. Through here will run the whole of Macy's West Coast advertising operations, from San Francisco to Minnesota, from sea to Shining Lake. Tiny can store 500 gigabytes of information. That is 500,000 megabytes. If that information was printed in books, those books stacked on each other would reach 12,428 feet. That's 12 Empire State Buildings high. And so to graduation. Fine young fellows and God-fearing too. Proud that they alone, through thick and thin, had beaten the odds. As the digital revolution had begun, the print world faced a tricky task of converting to a binary system. Markets had to be consolidated, vendors convinced, and print houses needed to be kicked into the 21st century. Budgets were given the voodoo economics treatment. The digital revolution was in full swing and there was no turning back. In the fall of 1996, Macy's West circulated 125 million catalogs and mailers. It would take one 110-mile-high tree to make all this paper. Timber! Of course we do recycle. It's full speed ahead for technical services, and after months of testing, the first scan is sent to bedrock. Now it can be told, the fall campaign has begun. Nifty! There's movement on all fronts. The PAs receive the layouts. Merchandise has been selected, tagged, and photographed. Transparencies have been carefully selected and are gently delivered to scanning. Color experts work hand in hand as they wrestle for the highest quality color reproduction. It is in retouch that the true power of the computer can be used. Of course, this newfangled technology allows last-minute changes to facilitate market trends. <laughs> well, I guess gorillas aren't a hot ticket this fall. Oh, the horror! And like a small stream that flows to the ocean, so it is in advertising, as a simple idea is finally matured into film, ready to be shipped to the printers. Of course, with the installation of AdSend, digital files can now be sent by intergalactic doohickey magic that transmits the files all the way to the newspaper satellite distribution facility in Cranberry, New Jersey. 
The use of the tracker enables a seamless workflow where all jobs can be monitored and routed into the correct lane. There's no time for traffic jams in a digital world. Of course, it's not all plain sailing in a digital world, and someone has to be on hand to sort out potential problems. Not all problems are human-based. Acts of God do tend to alter the workflow. Sometimes even computer systems crash. That is why we have a plan for disaster recovery should Tiny fail. This includes cross-training staff. And the server is back up! Nice work, fellas! Thanks to in-house Apple script programming, most mundane tasks can now be automated. Work can continue on schedule even when most people have left for the night. So, as the world sleeps, that once tiny piece of film is now being printed onto paper, ready for delivery on our doorsteps. What lies ahead for this ever-changing environment now that the technological beast has been slain? The Intranet! Now, vendors and stores can see and proof their ads in full glory before the paper even hits the doorstep. Multimedia! In-house multimedia services can be used to create presentations and create a film like this. And now it has been told, Macy's Technological Services, on the march to the next century, ready to serve all of Federated's needs and beyond. I guess you can have your cake and eat it too. Everybody, Wang Chung! Champagne Just can't compare To what we share down in Lover's Lane